Hello, I'm Gronya Hamilton from the JISC Regional Support Centre Scotland South and West. I'm here today with Bill Steele, who is a senior lecturer uh, at the Centre for Academic and Professional Development at the University of West of Scotland. Bill will be talking about how he has set up groups to encourage the use of technology across the university. Hi, Bill. Hi, Gronya. Can you tell us about um, your your work here at the University of West of Scotland? Uh, I'm a senior lecturer, as you said, in the Centre of Academic and Professional Development, and my area of interest is staff development, and in particular the use of technology. Great. And as part of that, I've set up uh, two groups mm -hmm. in order to try and encourage the dissemination of good practice, and to allow staff to meet other staff who are using technology in their teaching and learning and assessment. The first group was set up probably about six months ago. It was called LATI. That's Learning and Teaching Technology Enhancement. Uh, the group was established and the membership tends to have been those who have an interest in technology, who have already been using technology for either in learning or in assessment. Uh, so it tended to be the early adapters, those who felt fairly comfortable in the use of technology. And they were able to talk to each other about the various technologies they were using. Initially, it started with discussion of technologies that were already existing within the university, uh, sort of technologies like Blackboard and Turnitin, blogs, wikis that were part of the Blackboard system. As the group has met over the last few months, that's extended out to other assessment methods and other learning methods. Uh, so part of that group discussion was around Assessment 21, which is summative assessment, and a large amount on Turnitin, which is the uh, originality, plagiarism, moving on to online marking, and now they're looking at peer mark, which will allow peer review as part of the assessment system. Uh, the other things that the staff have started to talk about is Web2 and the various Web2 technologies and how they can incorporate that within their learning. So it's a wide-ranging discussion covering many of the staff throughout the organisation. But as I said earlier, it tends to be those who are already engaged. To try and get the, the base level staff involved, those staff who have little use of technology or had little use of technology uh, or haven't used technology at all, a second group has been established. This group's called HINT, which is Help, I'm No Techie. The idea, if you've no technical input at all, you haven't used any of the technology, then this is a group for you. We've had an inaugural meeting in uh, December, and the first full meeting is the end of January. Uh, the response so far from staff, the emails I've had, has been very encouraging. Uh, it looks as if we're talking about 30, 40 or 50 staff turning up to this uh, meeting. The intention being it's an action group. Uh, we'll meet once a month, and at each meeting, I'll probably do a presentation, or some other member of staff will do a presentation about some basic elements of technology. Members of staff will be asked to complete a forum, actually two forums, with one to two items that they intend to tackle over the coming month. One form will come back to me, the other form will take away themselves to remind themselves what to do in that particular month. End of the month we have the next meeting and then they'll tell us whether they've actually completed it and if so, what they're going to move on to and if not, when they're actually going to get round to complete them. Um, so that's the two groups that we've set up and hopefully we'll raise both the base level by using the hint group and improve the top level by using the latte group. Great, that sounds fantastic. Um, and do you feel that uh, feedback from people attending the LATI group, for example, have, have people really felt benefit in engaging with others using technology? The feedback has been very good uh, in that the staff feel less isolated. They're actually meeting other staff who are of a similar mind and they get encouragement through that. And by doing the LATI group, what we tend to have is the staff themselves do presentations of what they're doing. So we've had staff doing de demonstrations on mobile technology that they're using, uh, Web2 staff, basically the whole gamut. Uh, and it gives encouragement for other staff to become involved, 
to attempt that where they may not have done so before because they've seen that somebody else has tried it, it's worked, so they've got uh, some background there that gives them some sort of confidence that if they introduce it to their particular class group, that it will actually work mm -hmm. and they're not going from a base level or nothing. Yeah, so, so others are able to present any challenges they've come across, for example, and how they've overcome those pass-on tips for that, others. That's exactly the case. Mm -hmm. uh, so it gives the staff a quick run into a particular mm -hmm. technology. If they're introducing, let's say, turn it in, they know they don't have to start from scratch. They've got somebody else who they can talk to. They can tell them what any of the pitfalls are that may encounter, uh, any of the obstacles that may arise. Mm -hmm. Lovely, thank you. Um, and are you going to continue using, taking forward these groups? The, certainly for the next year we'll be taking forward these groups and then we'll see how it develops from there. Uh, and it may be at one point that the two groups can combine into a single group uh, once the base level staff have moved up and started into, uh, using the technology more often. That's lovely. Thanks very much, Bill. Okay, no problem. Thank you.